Now, kids, last year I read an article in the paper about a horse called Midget who had a cleft pellet oh. and it couldn't eat. Oh. And so it was actually starving to death. And so I got in touch with um, Kathy, who, uh, who was looking after Midget, and she's, she's raised enough money. It's had the operation and it's really, really well. Oh, yeah, so Midget is fine. And um, I went out to see Kathy at the sanctuary because she looks after... Animals in need, sick animals that nobody wants. Yeah. And she's so brilliant. She really inspires me. Have a look at this. An overwhelming number of animals are being destroyed in Australian pounds and shelters every year. Founder of Gunya Animal Sanctuary, Cathy Munslow, has rescued animals all her life and recently fulfilled her lifelong dream of setting up an animal healing sanctuary. Gunya is an animal welfare charity located in the Yarra Valley in Victoria. Sadly, the future of Gunya is uncertain. I've rescued animals pretty much all my life and worked at um, a local animal shelter and I started bringing animals home that were old or sick and that wouldn't normally make it through the shelters and I ended up with quite a few of my own. So it's something I've just always done. Gunya is currently home to a badly neglected pony with cancer, an alpaca with rickets disease, a chronic wind-sucking horse and many other animals that were deemed elsewhere as just too hard. Pete had rickets. He, he did, he had rickets when he was young, but he gets around quite well, he's, he's happy enough. Midget was the start of you turning this into a registered charity, wasn't it? Yes. So Midget's mother was two or three months off giving birth yep. when um, the Black Saturday fires burnt all the property. God, and um, so what happened to the mum? She got through and then was adopted out and the people that took the mother didn't realise that she was about to give birth oh. um, and came home one day and little Midget was this tiny little blob in the paddock. She had a cleft palate, which she was born with. And now to be fine is, is really lovely, isn't it? And she's, as you can see, she's pretty happy. Good on you, Midget. And they all seem to get on, all the animals. Most nights they're all on the couch, cats and dogs all snuggled up together. Not the horses, and... though. Oh, they have been once or twice. But... <laughs> At the moment, without additional funding, Gunya won't be able to continue its work. Oh, I'd hate to see you lose this. What are your hopes for the place? You know, hopefully this property can be secured, and then in the future, I mean, I'd just like to be able to expand upon what I'm already doing um, and help even more animals that just wouldn't make it elsewhere. And if you can't get homes for them, then you keep them. It's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Really, you do a fabulous job. Kathy just looks after them. She just loves animals. And so if you'd like to find out more about Gunya and, and support the sanctuary, you can ring Kathy um, or it's all on the website. Her, she's just so fabulous. Did you say that the alpacas sleep inside? She's had them inside. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, she's so just cute. one of those people. And, and these are animals that nobody wanted because there's something wrong with them. And she takes them in. It's wonderful. Wow.